Hello everyone, today we're going to be taking a look at a Generations 1 Transformer fig. This is Metroplex, it came out in 1986. I really wanted this guy when I was a kid. I had Trypticon, really wanted Metroplex here. Um, unfortunately, I was never able to get him. And this was one of my first actual Transformers I picked up when um, eBay actually first started. And really happy that I got him, but... As you can see, the box is really beat up, and I really didn't care back in the day about, um, I guess, quality. I just wanted the fig. The fig is in good condition, but the box here was just absolutely crap. But still, it's not too bad of a box. But we have a nice pick of Metroplex right there. We can see that he's a triple changer. Here he is in his city mode, and then we have him in his rolling battle station mode. It is unique down here that it says Autobot Battle Station Metroplex, but... um. It should say, like, Autobot City, but who knows. Flip it to the back here. We get to see a nice little battle scene with Metroplex and Trypticon and a lot of the other, the other 86 um, Transformers that were coming out. And some of the Scramble City combiners in there. It's interesting to see Hot Rod and another Hot Rod. Here's his bio real quick. And his tech spec. You can kind of make it out there. Alright. Let's take a look at the fig. Alright, here's Metroplex in his city mode. As you can see, I have a couple of extra accessory pieces connected to him. Originally, Metroplex was going to be part of the Diclone series. And he was going to have the ability to interact with the combiners. More specifically, the aerial bots, the protective bots, the combaticons, and the stunicons. Unfortunately, we never got a release. And Takara decided to keep that gimmick, and we got Scramble City. Unfortunately, in like the Hasbro um, instruction manual, you don't really know that you can take the leaders of those combiner groups and actually create base modes and connect them to a city mode. You do see the fact that you can take the limbs of the combiners and connect them to his arms and to his um, legs and give them a more super-powered, I guess, um, look or whatnot, but... So right now I have Hotspot connected in his tower mode to Metroplex back there, and I have the G1, G2 Silver Bolts here. Now if you have the City Guard, the red version of Hotspot, you can connect them over there if you like, or you could connect Motor Master or Onslaught. But I'm not going to do that since they're Decepticons. This is an Autobot City base, so... I think it's a really cool thing. You can make his City mode a little bit bigger, but here's Hotspot's little kind of tower I guess and he just connects with this little bit right here into there's a hole back here on each side of the little part that's part of his leg there it just connects in right there and silver bolt here you take off the kneecap there you have this little bit it actually connects into this part right here and the nice thing about it too is the fact that when you have this on here it's functions at a, as a launching mechanism. So if you have the planes or the cars on here, um, you can um, launch them down the ramp, which is pretty cool. So just kind of push this, let me get my hand out of the way, and it kind of just sends them down. It's a nice little added bonus, I guess. So. The other little gimmick he has is if you have Scamper or another, you know, mini car or whatnot, you can push forward on this black kind of um, button up here, and it launches Scamper down the ramp. And it's not too bad. It's a really nice playset. It's made for the combiners or kind of like the mini bots or the scouts. And um, so, but still very nice looking. So let's transform him into his... Um, rolling battle platform. Alright, to transform into his battle station mode, very simple. This is the mode he usually looks like um, in the show. Just real quick there. But, um, put that back in. Now he does come with a, quite a bit of accessory pieces, which is nice, but can also be a bad thing because you end up losing some of them. I'll take all those pieces off. And we'll start with the bottom portion here. Fold those in. Like 
So, push this around. Flip that over. Flip this piece around. Flip like that. And now we just start um, putting all the accessory pieces back on. And we have him in his rolling battle station mode. It's not too bad, but it's not the greatest looking you know, mode either in the world. We don't really see this in the U.S. cartoon. At least I don't think we do. But you do see this a couple of times in the Japanese Headmaster. And it rolls nicely. Not too bad. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could open up the ramp, you can have the gun there, you can have scamper, whoever you want come out. But it's okay. All right, let's transform him really quickly into his robot mode. Very simple. Again, we got to take all these accessory pieces off, or at least just those. Now what we'll do is pull down on ramps there, they'll become his legs. They just connect. There's a little kind of a peg here and it fits into that hole right there. Extend out his arms there. Now there's a little button on the back here we use to pop up his head. Kneecaps around here. And then he does come with two fists here. His antennas up. Give him back his guns. And there you have Metroplex. Um, real quick, what I mentioned before, now you can take the combiner legs, or the combiner limbs, excuse me, so this is Slingshot from the Aerobots, and he's got ports, one in each arm, he's got ports um, on his legs, both sides, and what you do is you're just going to plug it in like so, and there you go. I don't know. Looks um, okay, I guess, but uh, I don't, I don't know. This gun's on backwards there. All right. So there's Metroplex. Now, really do love that chrome face there. It's got the chrome thighs. Now there are some variations of the original Metroplex. You can get one with the chrome thighs. You can get one with white thighs with chrome stickers, I believe. There is the rubber tires, which is this one, or there's a plastic tire one. And I believe with the plastic tire one, they actually reinforce the uh, midsection, the waist piece right here a little bit better. I guess Metroplex is prone to snapping right there. Um, haven't really had any problems with mine, but um, I don't know. But there he is. Articulation with this guy, he's got quite a bit for a G1 um, transformer and for his size. His arms can go around 360 degrees. Um, I guess if you really want, you could call that a wrist swivel just because, I mean, you plug it in. But he does have the waist um, swivel. Legs can go forward and backwards and in and out. 
and it's mainly because of the transformation, but it does give them some nice um, articulation. And if you wanted to, you can give, you know, Triptychon that super kick or whatnot. So very sweet looking. Now, before we get into some comparisons here, he does come with three other little accessory um, guys, I guess. First one is um, Scamper here. Right. So he's this little black car. Um, it's not too bad. It's got some detailing on him. Let me kind of hopefully my camera can pick it up. It's just unfortunate that his arms have to be on top of his um, roof there. But we see that with like Fortress Maximus with Cog, I believe. So to transform him, real simple. There you go. And then you just plug in his arms. And one of the most commonly lost pieces is his arms or his um, little black gun here. Make it out. There it is. But at least with this guy, they're not too terribly expensive, unlike um, Cog's arms from Fortress Maximus or um, I think it's Cog or Gaskin or Gormit. I don't know what he's called, but there he is with his gun. All right. Now the next one, you take this tower piece, flip this part down, put on this tank turret, and you have Slammer. Very um, kind of generic. Seems to be more like an afterthought. <laughs> but no wheels, no nothing. But there he is. Turret um, kind of moves side to side, but really nothing there. All right. Now you take the other tower that we had in the city mode, now, um, take this part off. Now you can see his head there. This is going to be called Six Gun. Now what we're going to do is take the weapons off of Metroplex here. That's why it's called Six Gun. So we're going to use six guns here. These main guns of Metroplex will become his legs, and you have to take the missiles out. He does come with three missiles that kind of look like this. Unfortunately, there's no um, spring mechanism. You just unclip it, unfortunately. We plug this in the back. There's a little hole right there. Peg right there. these parts and let me see put those right in there now repro labels have, has made an upgraded set of stickers for this guy which is kind of cool but um kind of expensive but you can actually get some extra chrome bits for this guy and i think some of them are some hands or something because really you don't have anything here. You just have a little hole, which is where you're going to actually plug in his gun, which is this thing. And it plugs in like so, and now you have six gun. Now, I'm hoping that a third party would actually um, make six gun and slammer, because um, if you've seen my um, Generations Metroplex, that Metroplex only comes with a scamper here. We don't get a six gun or a slammer, which would be nice if a third party would actually make these guys, but oh well. So there are, here are the three little accessory pieces or characters that come with them. And they are featured in the show in the US um, cartoon, at least the Thief of the Night, you see these guys, but all right, let's move on to some comparisons now. All right, let's do a little bit of comparisons here. First one, Triptychon here, his nemesis. They look great together, perfect in size with one another, unlike, let's say, Fortress Maximus and Scorponok. And here he is next to Ultra Magnus, the city commander. Kind of funny, they're almost about the same size there. And then my next review here will be Metro Titan. Very sweet fig. Do like his story. 
Now, Metroplex here is definitely worth picking up if you are a G1 fan, a City Former fan. He does have quite a bit of accessory pieces, so keep that in mind. If you're looking at getting an original, um, just keep in mind that there are some variations that I mentioned before. There is an Encore version of this guy, which is probably the route I would go with just because you get all the accessory pieces. And it is the chrome thigh version and the rubber tire version also. And you most likely will get that mint and seal box. And I think it's probably about the same amount of money as getting an original, but not quite sure on that. And if you're like me, I like the nostalgic feel of putting stickers on Transformers. I don't know. That's just me. But this has just been a semi-quick um, look or review of Metroplex. Um, sorry, it was a little bit long, but thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it again. Stay tuned for more. Take care, and I'll talk to you guys later.